What's up, everybody? So today I want to talk about why I think dying young is better than dying old. Now, with this being said, I'm not saying now that we're young, let's just end it so we don't get old. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is why it is better to luckily die before getting old. So basically, you really know where I'm going to go with this, I'm pretty sure. We get old, we have so many problems. We develop much, we, we develop health problems. We develop, you know, joint problems, whatever. It's just, they call it the golden age. The golden age, that's the most golden time. I, mean, I don't see no golden about it. The golden age should be when you're young, when you're in your 20s, 30s. You know, within those two, within those two age brackets, the 20s and 30s, that's when I would say should be the golden age. That's when you're in your best prime. And not everyone is. People have problems just from the start, but you know, when you get old, your body gets weaker, obviously. Your body starts falling apart. You might start becoming hunched. And I'm not trying to make fun of old people by that. Like that's the thing. And that's that's like I said, I don't understand why people make fun of old people when one day you most likely might just get old too, unless you just so happen to die before getting old. So I never understood that reason why to make fun of old people. You're making fun of something that's pretty much going to happen to you someday if you make it here long enough. You know, that's the thing I don't understand. But I feel it's just better going when you're young because life is a bunch of problems as it is. And then on top of that, when you get old, <laughs> there goes more problems health problems or you might or may not get to retire but whether you do get to retire now where you're going to spend most of your days at doctors possibly going to the hospital getting checkups scans you know x-rays whatever because you might be feeling a certain feeling that you might be concerned about that you want to get it checked out and the doctor says oops you have this hope you have this oh now you got to go see this person now you know that's all it is when we're old, when we when we start getting old. So that's why I, I don't understand how they call that the golden age. The golden age should be now. Well, if you're young. If you're within the 20, 30 range bracket. Heck, even maybe 40 range. But once you start getting up to the 50s and 60s, that's when you start seeing some, you know, things happening to you. And not saying everyone. There's people that are healthy when they're old. But no matter what, when you get old, I mean, it's going to happen to everyone. We're going to get a little wrinkly. We're going to slow down. You know, there's someone that could be 90-something years old in perfectly good health. But even though he or she's in perfectly good health, obviously he or she can't run like like how maybe he or she was able to when he or she was 25 or 32 years old. But, you know, he's still healthy as a horse, yes, but he's not going to have the same speed. He's going to be a little bit on a decline. Now, it doesn't mean that he's unhealthy, but it's just meaning in general, your body ages, your body's getting older, your body's getting more delicate. Just that he's healthy, he's still got to, he or she still got to be careful about breaking a bone at that certain type of age because your body's so fragile that if you have to go for an operation, your body's so old at that stage that it may not even be able to handle the procedure. And then that's where most likely those type of people end up dying. So, you know what I'm saying there? It's just doesn't matter if you're in good shape or not in good shape. Eventually, as you get old, you're going to slow down. Now, there's people that aren't healthy at that age, too, and they slow down tremendously. And I just say to myself, what's the real point in suffering? Like, why do we got to live a long life of suffering when... We're all going to just die anyway. So if we're suffering to the point where we get no more joy in life, why can't we just fast forward to the end sooner? Like, I don't see what's so wrong with me saying that. A lot of people be like, you're negative for saying these things. And I don't, I just don't see it. Now, I'm not saying let's all give up. I, I definitely ain't saying that. But I'm saying if someone's suffering from whatever might be a terminal illness, a really bad mental illness that's just so unbearable and just sucks away all your joy in life and you just want to escape. Why can't we just have that wish? We're going to die regardless. Why do we got to live a long, meaningless life of suffering when you know basically your life already ended 
even though you're still living, your, your, your joy and all that stuff is gone. It's not even in you anymore. You're just here now. It's just like, you're just there. That's, that's the feeling you have. Like you just, I'm just here, man. I mean, I'd rather just not be here, that type of feeling, but I mean, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's just, I don't see where I'm bad for saying these type of things or I'm negative or I'm, I should get help. I should see someone, you know, it's not like I'm encouraging. Let's all end it. I'm not saying that. If that was the case, then I'll end it. <laughs> but, but what I am saying is people should have the right to do what they wish to do. It's their friggin' life. At the end of the day, it's really, it's their life. Why do we got to be told what to do with our life? And this just goes with m many other things too. Not just saying that, nah, just things in general. You should do this. You should look forward to doing this. You should, I should look forward to doing whatever the fuck I want to do. It's my life. That's what I should be looking forward to doing. Whatever interests me. Instead, we're being told by other people what we should or what we shouldn't do with our lives. And it's just, it's ridiculous because it's our life. At the end of the day, you're you. You're not that person. You're yourself. So why do something to make that person happy? But deep down, you're not happy. You're miserable. Screw what that person likes or doesn't like. It's what you like or it's how you feel and whatever, you know, just I'm just going into deep, you know, in examples here. But I mean... Yeah, it's just really fucking crazy society we live in, man. Like, I truly can't believe I got to wake up every day and just know this is the life I'm in. If there's aliens, man, they literally got to look at us like we're some stupid living things, man. They literally see us just getting up every day. What the hell is this lady doing walking back and forth? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, but as I was saying, yeah, like the aliens be looking at us, man, like... These people are stupid, man. Like, we could literally just invade the planet. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> this lady's lost or something. They could literally invade the planet. But they say to themselves, humans are causing their own mayhem to each other. So instead of doing that, we're just going to sit back in our UFOs and watch. We're going to have some alien corn. Because maybe that's what it's called, a set of popcorn. I don't know why this lady keeps walking back and forth. But, uh, but yeah, some alien corn. And sit back and watch humanity collapse by themselves we could collapse humanity of a blink of an eye the aliens be saying but it's better just watching the humans do it to themselves the more slowing you know the slow tormented way it's crazy can't blame the aliens then <clears throat> we'll be the type to say to the aliens how the hell do you guys afford that type of technology how the hell do you guys got that type of uh you know, equipment or whatever, since they, you know, since the more advanced than us, you know, how, how do you guys afford that? And the truth is they don't deal with money like we do. They just help unite each other. They get things done by helping each other out. They don't need some stupid piece of paper to tell them what to do or what not to do. They govern themselves. That's the thing. We don't, we don't know how to follow our own What's that word fellow for like we don't know how to follow our own path like we got to be governed we got to be told what to do if that makes any type of sense the aliens just do what they got to do no questions no fights they just build it whatever i'm just you know i'm just i'm just, I'm just i don't even who knows they exist i'm just you know saying it's a joke but yeah you know, we're the only living things with money man that deal with fucking money it's like we can't get anything done without money and that's why if that's true with the aliens being so advanced. That's the reason why, because they don't have money. They just get things done because they get things done. Nothing's getting in their way. They're all as a team helping each other out. All the other aliens are helping each other out. We're going to make this UFO. We have this. Oh, man, it's going to cost me aliens. No, it's not. We're aliens. We don't deal with stupid human stupidity. We, we just do this stuff because we have the ability to do it. We don't need some paper to tell us what or what not to do or if we can afford it or can't afford it. That's the thing. That's how we are. <laughs> so this is why I say the aliens probably just be looking at us like, man, these, are these people stupid, man? Like, I was thinking of invading Earth, but due to them being so stupid, let them just invade themselves the slow, tormenting way. That's literally what they're saying in their heads, in their little alien noggins. But yeah, back to why I think it's better going when you're young. Think of it like this, and I know I've probably said this in videos in the past, if I'm not mistaken. We all don't know how we're going to die. We all know we're going to die, but we don't know how we're going to die. 
Some people are fortunate and die in their sleep, which is the best way to go, and that's how I hope I go. That's actually how I hope everyone truly deserves to go. That's the best way. You can't get any better than that. But that's the thing. There's so many ways people could die, and it's not pleasant. It's not, you know, a good way out. Some people die in pain. They have cancer to the point where it's killing them, but it just doesn't take them one through three. They suffer. They're in pain. They're begging for mercy. Just take me already, that. And it's just, it refuses to. It just, the suffering just prolongs and prolongs, and then eventually the person dies. See, my fear is dying in pain, dying sufferingly, like, like suffering before getting to death. Death is easy, however. Like, you know, dying's easy. It's just getting to that before like before getting to death it's just that's the part that i fear this is why i feel like we should all have some kind of a kit so if things ever just become so much with whatever circumstance we have an exit you know you go to a building or something there's a lot of exit doors you know in case of a fire let's say this door there's a fire behind it there's maybe that other door where it's safe to go or whatever well, it's like, that's how I look at it with life. Like, if things just become too much, I feel we should all have, like, an exit plan to escape. You know, so I'm not, like, trying to encourage it, but I'm just saying it should be something that should be a thing. Because who the hell wants to die in pain? We don't watch our dogs die. I mean, it hurts us to see our animals suffer, our dogs, cats, you know, pets. So what we do is we take them to the vet and we put them to sleep, put them down so they don't have to suffer. Because yes, they're going to die either way, but at least you're putting him down to escape the pain. Because if not, he's just going to die a slow death and yelp and scream and then it's upsetting to hear and watch. And plus, I gone through that. I actually had a dog uh, a couple years back that uh, started getting sick. He made it to like, I would think he was 11, 12 years old, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, he just, he was, he would like go to sleep. He would walk around. He would sometimes breathe funny. I don't know if he was in pain. He wouldn't bark. He wouldn't really open his mouth. So I was like, you know, his poor, he wasn't eating anymore. That's when you know right there. He wasn't eating anymore. So we took him to the vet, put him out of his misery. You know, sad. But this is what I'm saying. Like, no one deserves to suffer. Nobody truly knows how, we, no, nobody truly knows how they're going to die. I don't know how I'm going to die. Who knows? I might get killed someday. I hope not. Well, <laughs> depends, I guess. But I mean, I just want to go peaceful. That's that. That's all I ask. I just want to. I want a nice, pleasant, peaceful death. And the best way I could ask for for me to go is to go to sleep and not wake up the next day. That's the best way to go. That's the best way anyone should want to go. It's just it's the ultimate way. It's the it's it's the the most blissful way I can think of. Because you you're going to sleep and then from there then you shut down, logging off, XP window XP. Yeah, I'm put on. But I mean, yeah, it's just, that's what I get scared most. And the thing is, I don't know what I'm going to develop later on in life. You know, like when you get old, there's just so many things that can go wrong with you. You got to go, like for men, we got to go for prostate and shit. You know, it's just, it's tough, man. It's just so much fucking bullshit we got to go through when we get old. Like you think we, I mean, you should see doctors yearly on a daily basis just to make sure everything's okay. But when you're old, when you start getting old, you got to see doctors more often. Every month or two, probably. And then people want to say that's the golden age. I don't see what's so golden about that. Now, I'm not saying let's all just end it before we get old. I'm not saying that in any way. But what I am saying is it's truly better, in my opinion, that we die young rather than getting old and i'm not saying that to let's all end it while we're young but it's just i feel people that basically what i am trying to say in this video is people that have died young i feel are lucky because there's people i know that are young like literally around my age if maybe a little older 30 something heck even in their 40s one person i know his friend went to sleep one day and he ain't wake up he was fine and everything. Like he, he seemed just fine. He said he was going to sleep, or, you know, was taking a nap. And then I don't, I mean, I don't remember the whole story like that. But I, from what I heard, he went to bed and that was it. He was done. But he wasn't like he. From what I heard, he doesn't have like any illness. I mean, maybe it was an aneurysm. I would think that caused that. I have no idea. But what I'm trying to say out of that is he, he lucked out because he didn't get old. 
he went young who knows if he would have made it old what problems he would have got then you know what i mean that's what i'm basically trying to say in this video that people that die young are truly lucky little do they know because why like th this is the thing i say why do we want to like like why it, it's like i feel like it's a race like i want to live a long 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 life like what's what's the reason for it i don't understand why you would want to be here for decades and decades especially seeing what life is now like I, I don't get it i'm not saying just let's let's boom but it's just i don't get why people look so forward to getting old wanting to die old instead of young or when you die you die that's how i look at it as whenever you die you die who cares if he died young who cares if he died old i mean it's just it's it's literally the same chapter only it happened sooner than later oh he had a whole life ahead of her i mean whole life it is what's what's there to look forward to this a whole life to be a sheep she or he or she little did he or she know that they lucked out they fucking hit that exit soon enough they have to deal with this bullshit well he, that's another stupid thing like with a, which i feel bad people that lose their kids i do i'm not saying i don't but dude, someone that lost their kid oh he was gonna go to law school or, you don't gotta worry about that headache now that's something to be embracing well i know i know i'll be fucking embracing if i was that, if i was that person escaping this shit i'll literally be embracing he's gonna go to law school he's gonna go to get his master's degree man get my master grave degree man i'm out of this shit i'm lucky man people just don't realize how lucky they are those type of people that's the thing people that want out in the worst way like like just want out of this bullshit keep living it the stupid people that enjoy life which i'm happy that they enjoy this but truly i don't know how the hell you can but hey i'm, I'm happy for you if you can <laughs> those are the people that most likely will get neutralized but us people that see this life's a complete dump joke whatever you want to fucking call it we we just keep living another day in this hell we see it meaningless we see it tormenting we see it we see it as a curse, a nightmare, and in return, it just keeps bringing us back to it, like waking up to it again. It's like it's, it's sleeping is just a tease. It's just a tease. You sleep, your problems are temporarily forgotten because, you know, you're not conscious, you're, you're, out, you're unconscious, you're sleeping, but unfortunately, you wake back up and it all hits you right back. Whatever situation that you're in, whether it's a good or bad situation, boom, soon as you wake up, that situation boom right pops up right in front of your face it's like a pop-up on a computer that keeps popping up you hit the x but then it pops up again you hit the x it's a virus or whatever That's literally what life is the problems just keep coming right back in your face you try to go to sleep and some people can't even go to sleep because the pop-ups are so fucking annoying if you know what i mean it, it prevents you from sleeping but if so happened you did go to sleep it's just a tease because you're gonna wake back up with them pop-ups again that's how i look at that as and the worst part of it all is when you first wake up, you feel all groggy, kind of like shitty, like moody, like, oh, I don't feel like getting, you know. So imagine feeling that on top of that and knowing the headaches that pretty much you still got to deal with on your daily basis of life. So imagine being groggy and grumpy, whatever you want to call it, and then knowing the hell that awaits you on that day and it, it's already like literally popping right in front of your face and you're like half out of it and you, you feel it's just such a shitty 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 feeling it's like uh can i go back to sleep please god damn it <laughs> you know like i mean that's how i look at it as man that's just it's unbearable bro and it's like and life just it, it truly feels like it gets more and more unbearable that's why i don't understand why people would rather make it all the way to the end Oh, I hope I live longer than you, or, oh, he died too soon, or whatever. He's lucky, man. Little do they know he's lucky. Little does he even know he's lucky. Oh, but maybe he enjoy life. Whatever. Whether you enjoy life, don't enjoy life, you don't have to worry about shit. When you're dead, you're dead. Nothing matters. That's how I look at that as, oh, he had a whole life ahead of him. Whole life of what? What is really worth living this life? I, I honestly want to know that. I can't really think of any. What is worth living this life? So if I live a long, long, long time, that means I'll be here a long, long time paying bills, working my ass off, paying bills, paying for this, paying for that, paying for food, paying for 
car insurance, paying for stupid wealth insurance. Healthcare, my ass. <laughs> These are the things I'm going to look forward to living a long, long life. This is my whole life ahead of me. This is what I look forward to doing. Give me that piece of paper, man. I'll sign wherever I got to sign to escape this burden. This is a burden. I don't want to be in this bullshit. That's what I say. When people die young, they're so fucking lucky. Little do they know. I would literally want to almost trade someone's position. Hey, man, uh, you seem like a I mean, I'm not saying I'm not a happy person, but I just don't see this worth living to the end. So I'd rather just fucking zoop, 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 dead, you know? And like I said, and I always, I, I, I have said this before, it's not that I truly want to die. I don't want to die, but I just want to live somewhere better. And unfortunately, it's just, you're not going to get that wish here. And, you know, with the world ending and stuff, and it's not like I want everyone to die, but it's like, I, let's say, for example, a meteor or an asteroid, whatever comes, and it does damage. Now, it doesn't wipe out all of humanity. Instead, it just wipes out, let's just say, 50 people, 100 people. Me, personally, I look at that as more as a tragedy because we're not all dead. If we were all dead, then nothing would be nothing anymore. We'll all just be extinct. It'll be right back to just a non-existent state, just like the dinosaurs. They all went extinct. But see, let's say now this asteroid comes and it just kills 50 people, maybe another 50, 100 people, let's say. 100 people died. I look at that more sad because not all of us are gone and we got to, you know, what's that damn word, man? You know, like grieve over the people that lost their lives. I find that more upsetting than if it were to just be the whole world because once it's the whole world there's no news about it there's no nothing about it it's it it's lights out everything's done it's like a big bang boom if that makes any sense it's like for example 9-11 that was a huge tragedy i don't even remember how many people died i know a lot obviously but now, just picture if, let's make believe, 9-11 just wiped out the whole world where everyone's dead. Everything, everything. It wouldn't be as a, a, a tragedy that would be remembered because we're all dead. So this is where I look at, let's say an asteroid comes and it destroys this part of the Earth or, you know, this, this country or whatever gets hit. That's a tragedy because those people are dead. We're still alive. And then now we got to grieve over it. And, you know, it's, it's just sad to hear about that. If that's making any sense. I'm not trying to sound confusing, but I just look at it. It would make more sense if, let's say, this asteroid took over, the, took, wiped out the whole world. Then there's really no tragedy to grieve over because we're all dead. We're all dead. I'm dead. He's dead. She's dead. We're all dead. <laughs> so I feel like that would just be... A better solution <laughs> i mean and it's not like i want the world to end but the reason why at the same time i do want the world to end because life is just falling apart as it is i mean it's just getting more expensive we got sheepflation going on we got this going on i mean it's just the quality of life just it's just getting un more and more uncopable here it's just getting more and more unbearable now, if I can understand if life was a beautiful place, which it could be if we weren't such assholes, probably. It probably could be at least a bit better than it is now. But if life, let's say, was a beautiful place, then yeah, would I want life to go on? Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm all for living if life's actually blissful. But that's the thing. It's not blissful here. This is where it goes back to people don't want to end their lives. They don't truly want to die. They just don't want to suffer anymore. They don't want to see the you know they just don't want to suffer they don't want to see this unbearable bullshit anymore whatever the scenario is but unfortunately by them living here they ain't gonna ever be at peace so what comes in mind that meaning to end their lives and then that's why sadly those people do those things make those decisions it's like they don't want to die, but they just don't want to live here. And things aren't ever getting better here. Nothing's getting sorted out here. If anything, it's just getting more unbearable here to the point where death seems like the only escape. It seems like the only exit. And that's why we end up going through with death. 
It's just the only unfortunate option that we can do. You know, at least that it seems, I guess, in that person's mind. Plus, it just seems like that in general. I mean, because like everything's just getting worse and worse, man. You think life would get better and better. We have technology. No, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. We got artificial intelligence. We got things that can build things in like three hours. Could have this whole section done probably or whatever. That'll take us months to do. What I'm trying to say out of all this, we have technology. Technology keeps getting better and better. It keeps advancing, you know. So why aren't our lives getting any easier from it? That's the big question mark. That's the big question I have to ask. Because I'm truly curious <laughs> you know what i mean like but anyway guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up there man uh, i really hope i made a good video today on this topic and uh yeah i love you all man and if you are an old person i love you man i mean i love you all in general young old i don't make fun of people that are old i don't understand why people make fun of people that are old because <clears throat> if you live long enough you'll be old too None of this shit makes sense. Like, for example, race, how we don't like someone because of their race or we don't like someone because the way he looks, like appearance or, you know, it's just silly shit, man. It's it's really, it's silly, pathetic shit. A person lurks, looks a certain way, we make fun of him, he or she gets bullied because of it. I mean, it's just, we wouldn't like it if that was us, but it's not us, so who cares? Uh, we're not going to feel the pain that I'm causing to him, so... What do I care? You know, that that's our attitude with things. Humanity, man. Humanity. What happened to you guys, humanity? <laughs> all right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to really uh, wrap it up there. Love you all, guys. Take it easy. And uh, yeah, peace out. Peace.